All right, 10 extra horsepower. Let's see if I can beat the cheating TVR. So I'm doing worse than I was on the first attempt, but I blame that entirely on the, oh my God, look at the TVR. It's so much faster than everyone. How is this fair, I ask? Anyway, look at this TVR, I hate him. I hate this dude, I hate this guy. Get real. Yeah, if I'm not gonna win, you're not gonna win either, bitch. God, look at this conga line, dude. And I can't get any acceleration. Man, I sure wish that I had a TVR. One shot of glory. Ooh! Go, 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 Okay. And the TVR is gonna win, isn't he? Oh, no, dude. No, 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 no. Okay. So, as it turns out, this game sucks. Okay, so I just sunk another $5,000 into upgrading this car and it's done absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing to mitigate the shit factor. We can do the Compact Car World Cup, though. Cause, okay, well, Compact Cars? 295 horsepower? How is that compact? What, so a Sylvia is a compact now? When I think of compact, I think the, 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 the late 80s, early 90s commuter cars I was talking about earlier. All right, well, these these actually look like compact cars. Yeah, that's a Renault in front of me. Yeah, see, like these. This is what I think of when I think of compact cars. Oh, great, Rome Circuit again. Well, I got the lead, that's that. Okay, okay. Okay, so, you know, I feel like it's not that much to ask for to have things make sense. But apparently, this guy is leading and I'm not. Sure. I don't know what they expect you to do. If they expect you to just, you know, grind the Sunday Cup over and over and over and over in order to buy cars that you can actually run these, these races with. Or if they actually just expect you to get a car for like seven grand with like 300 horsepower in it. Oh, my God. Okay, so they're just going to run into you. So, them just running into you is a thing that's going to be happening over the course of this playthrough. That that Mitsubishi sign was having issues. That, that makes it so that I am not guilty at all for dive-bombing these guys in every single corner, because they would do the exact same thing to me in a heartbeat. Look at this. Look at this. There is no excuse for these guys to be this close to me. I should be winning this easily. But no, they're right behind me. Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. First place, woohoo. Of course that is the controller disconnecting. Why wouldn't that be the controller disconnecting? New car acquired, what? Is it every six races that you win? I have no idea how I'm going to edit this. But apparently I just earned a new car. This I just won the first race of the Compact Car Cup and I just have another car. Hopefully it has 200 horsepower. It would be more than what I have now. That's for sure. Okay, well, that's that race. What is this car? Oh, and the game is fully aware of the fact that the uh, loading screens are ridiculous, so it actually gave you shortcuts to everything. So here's my house, so I can check out the uh, new car that I just got. I'm guessing it's awful. It's a bit. Okay, that's phenomenal. Does it have more horsepower than what I have now? No, it has 67 horsepower. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's that's what you're gonna give me? That's, that's my grand prize. Okay, that's phenomenal. Next race of the Compact Car World Cup at Seattle Short. This short track version also no longer exists in Gran Turismo. I wonder why they stopped having these short versions of the track. Because they had short version of Autumn Ring in Gran Turismo 4. They had a short version of Grand, Grand Valley. But I think this game also has a short version of Grand Valley, so... I don't know, man. It's, it's weird. Anyway, here's Seattle sh Circuit at not sundown, so another unusual thing that you won't see in any other game. 
it does feel a lot more pleasant during the day rather than in the, you know, the dusk. It just kind of feels gloomy in the dusk. Like, I know the aesthetic that they were going for, but, like, it still does not feel, you know, as fun. This is all bright and happy and stuff. This is, you know, good and stuff. Anyway, I'm last. And this version of the track, you go this way. And this section of the game doesn't even exist in future entries. So, yeah, this is, this is only, you're only going to get this on the PS1. Oh, these guys are not good at driving. Oh, these are guys are not good at driving. Oh, they are very bad, in fact. They are not great. Not great. Big ol' left turn right here. Hell yeah, dude. We're gonna be closing in on this guy. Yeah, and there's an entirely alternative pit road entry here. Like, you don't even come in on the little chicane, because there is no little chicane. We go, we, we come out before the chicane. We come on on the chicane, actually. Okay. Final lap. Let's, let's get this rat bastard yellow thing. This highlighter yellow, probably like Honda. Honda brother, sister, whatever, brethren. Family. Honda family. You know, this game is actually just like an expansion pack for Gran Turismo 1. This game is just like Gran Turismo 1 again, but just with more cars. This is like DLC in the 1990s. It was an entirely separate entry into the series. That's what DLC was back in the day. Oh, these guys are concerningly close. Come on, dude. I cannot lose this race now. I have done so good throughout this race. You have got to be kidding me, dude. No. No! Come on, dude! Why does this keep happening? And somehow I did worse on this attempt than the first attempt. This sucks. This sucks a fucking lot. Fully customizable transmission. This is the best upgrade in future games because it gives you an extra gear and it lets you fine tune your gear ratios. Is it good in this game? I doubt it because that would be way too much to ask for. But we're still gonna buy it anyway. What else can I purchase? Port and polish. Fucking three horsepower. Okay. Very cool indeed. How about no? Okay, so I could spend $12,000 to get 19 horsepower. So you know what? Fuck it. Just do it. Just do it. We clearly fucking need it, so just do it. Clearly this car is incapable of running anything worse than awful at all times. I can only imagine what this screen is gonna look like. Drive train. Here we go. Full customization. How do I customize it? Wait. It says full custom up. Oh, that was settings. Okay, here we go. Gear. There we go. Okay, okay. No, it does not give you an extra gear. Oh, well, that's phenomenal news. Probably want to be as short as possible. Not gonna lie, I'm thinking that's it's probably where we're at. Well, actually, hang on. I just upgrade. I just, I just bumped my horsepower up like 20. So maybe I don't want that much. Oh well, we're about to find out. Race time. Oh yeah, it's fast now. Oh, look at the speed of this thing. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at the pace. Okay, so now I can't be touched. Perfect. This gives me an excellent opportunity to go into a digression. So, do you know what it's like to go outside, right, and you're, um, and the guy parked next to you is stupid, and he is like, it is, it is parking spot at like an angle, and it's like, you're parked just fine, right, you're in the lines, you are parallel to the lines, and yet, this guy that's parked next to you just can't, like, even tie his shoes, and he's, like, at an angle that you've never seen before in your life. Like, the, like we are, like, mathematics has not even come up with a term to describe how this man has parked his car. And then you have to finagle your way out of that situation without running into it, and then, and then a lot of times it's some asshole with, like, a jacked up piece of shit. So you can't even see past him when you're, like, backing out. Like, you have to back out 
of the fucking parking spot. And you can't see shit because this guy's got a fucking, you know, F750, if those exist. Yeah, and you can't do anything about it. He's just there. He just exists in the way. It is ridiculous. I hate when that happens. Okay, so if I can't win this fucking race with all of these upgrades, after dealing with that previous attempt as long as I did, I'm gonna do worse. No! Dude, how? How was I doing worse on this attempt with 20 extra horsepower and good gear ratio? <sighs> Whatever, dude. It's fine. Look at this, dude. Look at this. This game is 23 years old. And it looks... And, and it's just like... Look at this. Look at it go, dude. It just runs. All these street textures, they all look the same. Like, this reminds me so much of Test Drive 5. God, every PS1 racing game was the same. Wasn't it? But the real question is, was Test Drive, or was Gran Turismo copying Test Drive? That's the real question. Okay, that was all for four fucking thousand dollars, but I did get a new car out of it, so I guess we'll save. I can maybe sell those to recoup the losses of all this garbage I've had to install onto this thing. Yeah, I've been recording for two and a half hours, and this is, there's no way that this is going to build the peak, so I may as well just keep going. May as well just keep going on this game save. Well, then again, this this microphone is going to automatically stop in 20 minutes, so maybe that's a poor choice. Maybe it's a poor choice to continue. Oh my god, it's almost 7. Oh my god, it's almost 7, dude. I have to fucking work in 4 hours. God, if I hadn't woke up early, we'd be in a terrible situation. I mean, I already am in a terrible situation. I didn't wake- I woke up early, now I'm gonna be tired, like, at 2. Autumn Ring! Hey, speaking of Autumn Ring... Is this the full Autumn Ring? It probably is, and I'm probably not going to do good in this race. And I probably should have extended my gear ratios. But, I didn't. So that's unfortunate. Anyway, yeah, it's the full Autumn Wing. Autumn Wing. Autumn Ring. It, th that's the same car that I was racing against in the last one here. I'm starting right next to. What the hell, dude? It's like a Volkswagen. That's a that's a bit. That's absolutely a bit, isn't it? Anyway, this is Autumn Ring. Oh, we're turning right. Oh, and we're sliding while we're doing so. Oh my. Oh dear. Oh my. Oh dear. Oh my, oh dear. Okay, well, that was not, I was not supposed to slow down that much there, apparently. I'm actually doing pretty decent. I'm doing surprisingly well for a race that I need 295 horsepower in. Alright, well, I'm in the lead. I'm not sure how that happened. How is this race going better than the last one? How is this race going better than the last Clubman Cup race? Nothing about this makes sense. The only thing that's made sense in this race so far is that exact moment where I got passed by two people at once. Well, this is coming to the finish line, and I'm somehow in second. Wow. And my gear ratios are actually perfect. We're gonna be hitting the red line right into the fastest corner of the track. What in the world? I actually did a good. I actually did a good. Look at me, dude. Look at me and my amazing uh, crew chiefing skills. Move your fat ass. Oh my god, dude. Go away. You should not exist. Okay. I'm in the lead. How long will this last? Probably not very long. Okay, the Vitz dive bombs me. Are you kidding me? I am not losing to this fucking asshole again. No, 
No, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. Okay, you need to stop existing, breathing. You need to do, you need to stop doing all of those things. Okay, I have the lead. How do I lose this one? Oh, he's right up my ass. Yep, he's right up my ass. Okay, that was a very good taking at that point. Now I've got a huge lead. Oh, I have a huge lead. Oh my god, am I gonna win this? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna win that. I did in fact win that. Very cool indeed. It. Oh yeah, I got first. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. 4,000. Yeah, and another new car. I didn't even check out the other new car. I didn't even care about that garbage. Let's check out these new cars. To home. To the garage. All right, so we've unlocked the VIX, the Clio 16V, which I'm guessing is actually going to be decent. No, it's 106 horsepower. Never mind. Colorado Orange. You know, when I think of Colorado, the last color that I think of is orange. And the Lupo 1.4, which is awful. Okay, so we just won three god-awful cars. So that's phenomenal news. But we got, we got the only car that matters. This one right here. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. To that I say, hell yeah. Going 40 miles an hour into this corner and I'm still overdriving the track. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's spinning! What a fucking Chad! What a fucking Chad! Did you see that? This absolute fucking beast! Oh my god, I can't even be mad! That was such a good save! Holy shit! That was so good. And I can't fucking drive forward because this car sucks and this track sucks and this game sucks.